Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of fundamentals of IoT, in short FIoT. In today's class, we are going to learn a topic called connected vehicles. Okay. What happens if the vehicles are connected over IoT? We are going to see in today's class. So a connected vehicle is one that is capable of connecting over wireless network to nearby device. So almost for a vehicle, what will be the near uh, nearby devices? It can be footpaths or it can be an, uh, roadside devices, or it can be another vehicles which are crossing over these vehicles, okay? So whenever a wireless connection is or a wireless network is established between the vehicle to vehicle or between the roadside uh, uh, devices and the vehicle, and also uh, between the traffic uh, signals or the junctions and the vehicles, how the data is getting transferred, okay? all that is considered with respect to the connected vehicles. So all these nodes, it may be footpath, it may be junctions, it may be roads, or it can be a traffic uh, systems, or it can be a vehicle to vehicle, all these are connected over a wireless network, okay? So this is one of the important factor or else advance in then IoT. So you can also use this particular kind of uh, uh, mechanism or the system for the entertainment okay so like uh, a mobile phone connected over a car okay so you can play the songs through a uh, mobile phone whatever you are playing that file in a mobile phone can that can be heard through a uh, phone's uh, car speakers right okay that is what we generally see so almost all the connected devices or the connected vehicles will be bi-directional. That means the data can also be transferred as well as received and also vice versa. So, but one of the primary or the major uses of the IoT car or IoT vehicle is like providing safety and also like rapid vehicle to vehicle or vehicle to roadside unit communications. We simply call it as V2X. So, IoT is mainly implemented for the car safety or a vehicle safety that is like a vehicle to vehicle communication and vehicle to roadside unit communications. We consider it as V2X. Remember this point. Okay. So vehicle, vehicle to vehicle communication and vehicle to roadside unit communications are the major tasks with respect to the IoT or the connected vehicles. So as I've already said, these connected vehicles establish a connection between it can be a bi-directional communication, okay? So it can be uh, a device or the communication between cars, trucks, buses, and trains, and also other vehicles, okay? Not only that, we can also track or uh, uh, we can also maintain the infrastructure uh, with the communication as well as events. Now, see, why we are communicating with the vehicles and these roadside uh, devices means, so even though we are communicating for a particular safety as we are communicating for the safety or the city traffic conditions in order to estimate the city traffic conditions the data should be in real time okay whatever the data are transmitting and receiving that should be a real time information that is within some seconds of time you need to get that particular data okay so generally we uh, we call it as a, a we, term that as a talk okay a talk between cars trucks buses and other vehicles okay so these connected vehicles can also use wireless communication to talk to traffic signals working zones toll booths school zones and other type of infrastructure see this is how this is an imaginary presentation of how we connected vehicles when they are working with the IoT. So, for example, let us say an IoT enables high speed vehicle to vehicle or vehicle to infrastructure communication. Uh, this will be resulting in many, many possibilities. That is adaptive cruise control, automatic route planning based on real time conditions, traffic redirected away from the congestion. If at all there is any traffic jam, it shows a new uh, map or a new way to uh, pass through that particular road, okay? So, we can also implement that for a driverless adaptive cruise control and also route planning, okay? And automatically updated road signage. 
in order to report that particular traffic conditions okay not only that we can also communicate to drivers okay and notifying them of crash sites and wrong way drivers ahead not only that we can also alert the drivers for several uh, implications like uh, notification of the crash sites or the wrong way directions and all those things okay and this helps in automatic vehicle braking to prevent collisions and not only automatic uh, vehicle braking it also provide autonomous as well as semi autonomous vehicle control okay so along with all these what is already implemented is a gps global positioning system this global positioning system is already integrated into several vehicles connected to an iot okay through which you can easily track the vehicle through an app or an web application through which you can see where these particular vehicles are uh, moving on the run okay so onstar is an another example so this is an onstar is an application with a car connecting to an onstar representative so that the driver can be getting assistance whenever needed okay it's like an uh, uh, like an assistant who will be keep on guiding the driver where to go how to go okay and what is the best way to go okay so all the vehicles which are connected to 4g receivers can create this particular vehicle hotspot suppose a particular driver in the vehicle is searching for an hospital or a particular uh, driver in the vehicle is searching for nearby restaurants to take his food okay so this particular on star representative will be uh, uh showing you the suitable uh, restaurants or the nearby hospitals or the nearby places okay in the on the screens as oh, as it is connected over the 4g or uh, iot so these are the hotspots which will be helping the driver in all the means suppose if vehicles are much more connected to the advanced technology like 5g and all those things so this 5g module is much more helpful in connecting the vehicles to communicate with near real time okay so let's see some of the features of this see two cars going in opposite direction could share road conditions okay so no need to stop the vehicles and no need to ask the particular drivers whenever these two vehicles are connected over internet or iot and we are when they are crossing by okay so both the cars can share the data related to the opposite roads conditions and all those things and not only that there are so many examples over here self driving cars will communicate their position which will allow them to safely drive side by side as well uh, as they merge at high speeds okay next one is connected vehicles will communicate at spotlights and stop signs to determine which vehicle has right of way next one is a vehicle will also be able to connect a city's network so city's network uh, connecting to a city network gives you like uh, uh, how to find a parking uh, or to locate a business or a residence if you are searching for a house or a uh, business uh, office or something like that okay so and not only that it also avoids area with uh, some sort of messy constructions or traffic jams everything we can get through out of this so most importantly so the ultimate goal of this particular connected vehicle technology is to make ease of the drivers uh, uh, driving in order to avoid collisions and also uh, to avoid congestions and all those things to make the drivers uh, uh, work very much easy if you consider the internal onboard use with respect to connected vehicle technology so internally a connected vehicle is designed to connect a drivers or a passenger smartphone okay so there will be lot of options if at all uh, the phone is connected to a, uh, a car okay so we can also make a phone call through the car speaker and we can ha have a conversation not only that the connected vehicle can be turned on and off with a smartphone okay so the vehicle can share diagnostic data and remind the owner about the upcoming service requirements like uh, vehicle service or the oil change or the 
if there is any problem with within the vehicle regarding the repairs and all those things that data can also be analyzed in the event that the vehicle is stolen okay so if at all the vehicle is also lost okay it can we can also track its location so the owner can use an app to have the flash its headlights in the parking lot so that the car stands out okay so in order to search uh, the uh, using an app we can uh, send the signal to the car such that this uh, car may make some sort of sound or flash headlights so that we can easily find that particular car okay so so lots of features are there whenever this particular car is connected towards this particular uh, iot okay and with respect to the communications of the connected vehicles see uh, there are lot many applications as well uh, like deployments of uh, or use of sensors, cameras, RFID readers, okay, and uh, uh, to identify the congestion automatically to reroute the traffic, identify distance from the various destinations, okay. So, not only that, we can also uh, uh, look after the safety of the pedestrians, okay, who are uh, moving at the junctions or the who are uh, taking the footpaths or the persons who are going uh, on the cycles or cycl cyclists okay so all this can be considered and much more safer uh, uh, traveling can also be uh, done through this particular connected vehicle via iot